Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am bringing you my fragrances of the week. First of all, I want to say thank you for watching my video. If you want, you can hit like and subscribe down below. You can also follow me on Instagram for my empties. I do have two Instagrams. One's like my personal and sometimes coffee and candles. And the other one is just for body care and hygiene empties. I did want to also let you know that Brute, Mr. Brutus Biscuits, our most recent kitty friend we adopted, is here in the office. So if you hear noise or he gets into something, you will find out. Um, he is twice the weight of when we found him. When we found him, my sister found him in a carport. Uh, he was really sick. He had this whole booger situation going on. He had wounds covering his body like something had bit him or burned him or hurt him. So we took him to the vet and got him some antibiotics. And they estimated he's a, he was, he is about, well, was about six months old. And he only weighed four pounds. He now weighs eight pounds. My daughter, <laughs> went every couple of months, she likes to get on the scale. And then she will pick up each of the cats and weigh them. Peanut. Um, our other orange cat, we got him a few years ago. When we got him, he was just over a pound, and they said he was two months or six weeks old, and he needed to get his weight up, and now he weighs 12 and a half pounds. So he's doing very well, by the way. Um, <laughs> Brute is quiet. He's reserved. He, he's a people watcher and an animal watcher. At night, he will get the zoomies, but he'll walk up and down the hallway crying. Um, he's very attached to me personally, which I do like because while Curly, our, one of our cats, is attached to me, it, he's kind of attached, likes everybody the same way. Sam, um, Peanut is attached to my husband, Larry is attached to my daughter, and my dog is attached to everybody. Um, Hi, Brute. Um, we call him Brute for short. I call him I am Brute, like I am Groot. And um, the other day I was calling him Ferris Drooler because he drools a lot in his sleep. I do think that he needs to have his mouth checked out and some dental work eventually, but it's a process to get there. But I did get into the actual video. I do want to update you guys on my no buy, low buy, which I left it up there. I'm still at only one item that was not expected and that I usually don't purchase and that was a subscription and I forgot what day I'm on but it's been July 22nd was the last time I made a purchase that wasn't a necessary purchase. So I'm doing good on that and I was watching Boots and Mascara and I will put her link down below. She has a talk on the tea kind of video. I'm just kind of I'm going to update you guys with my every week, I guess, on what, how I'm doing. She got into a little bit of the psychology of it and the dopamine rush and, you know, having so much stuff because you don't really realize how much you're buying as often and it really builds up. And I kind of feel the same way. And I was feeling that way in July, too, when I did my no buy for the most of the month. Right now, I'm not like a super strict no buy, low buy, but I'm really taking any and every purchase into consideration I have started cash envelope stuffing again like I used to. I do want to set aside some money, you know, every so often so I can go shopping when I want to to purchase things. But I'm just kind of taking my time because, you know, I have a lot of stuff. Can you not, you see behind me? Lots of candles, lots of body care. I don't mind having a large collection, but I am paring it down just a little bit so it's a little easier for me to work on. I have listed a couple things on Mercari. About once a week, I go through my items and go, do I realistically think I'm going to use and finish this? And then if I want to put it on Mercari, I put it on Mercari. If I just want to go, you know what, I'm not sure. There's a possibility I want to keep this. Definitely, I'm, I keep it. So <clears throat> that's how things are going. And also, I am trying out different places I want to put my camera see how the videos go, et cetera, et cetera. So if it's a different angle or one you don't like or something, let me know. But I'm gonna get into the actual chunk of the video. We have the Body Shop Vanilla. I've had this forever and ever. I do, Brute. 
Rudy, kitty, 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 kitty. He's standing on my chair trying to drink a cup of coffee. And now he's laying on my chair. <laughs> okay, um, I've had this for a very long time. I do really love this scent and I mix it with the Body Shop Camilla Lotion, which, or Camilla Cream. I have not seen that anywhere again since I purchased it. I don't even think the Body Shop is around in the US anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong. They might be online, I'm not sure, but I really enjoyed this and I did finish this particular bottle. I don't think I've, no, I didn't put any marks on these yet, but this was like down here, like down around here somewhere. So didn't take very much to finish this up. But that combination is one of my older favorites. Next one, and I'm almost done with the mist on this. I am done with the body care for it. I only had the lotion. This is Fresh Amalfi Lemon, and I had done a review for this one and told you guys how I felt. I am really loving this after a hot day. Absolutely loving it. Um, I'm going to be sad to see it go because I am going to finish this bottle, but if it came back next year, I definitely would consider purchasing this. It isn't like a one and done or anything. It's a type of like once a season type of purchase where I wouldn't feel I need backups for it. The notes are lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedar wood citrus. I do really like this scent. And like I said, a summery scent. The next one, and this is another one that I've been working on. Um, I can still see it. It's right about here. And this is Bridgerton Diamond of the Season. So this is my second time using this one. I had extra lotion, but I ended up selling that on Mercari because I wasn't that excited about this scent. I like this scent. And again, something like this is probably like a once a season type of scent for me. I do like fruity, I do like peach, but I did notice that I got more of that peach and less of the citrusy light scent. I got more of the scent altogether, let's say that. The notes are sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. I really struggled to like this and smell it the first go around. Now that I'm using it, I am liking it, but it's not like in the favorites. Definitely like a once a year type of purchase for a scent like this. And um, I really, it's really cute. And I'm going to keep the lid to the bottle. Not that I have to, but I keep forgetting to take, like I have bottles that don't have lids. So I am going to start taking some of the lids off of bottles, especially the pretty ones and make, you know, maybe I will make my ice lemon pound cake and my strawberry pound cake feel special with one of these lids. The next one and the final one, I'm actually wearing this today. This is bourbon, strawberry, vanilla. And this is one where I really like the scent, but it wasn't strong enough. I still have the same feelings about it. It is bourbon, vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, pink jasmine, and white oak. This just does, for some reason, does not stick to my skin. And I would think with that combination of scents, it would. It is a nice, very fragrant, sweet scent, but it dies within a half an hour to an hour. So I'm thinking there's a possibility I will get down pretty far on this bottle before finishing one full set, just because I'm overspraying a lot when I remember to. I know this week I did have a like lack of, you know, lack of, I'm trying to think of the word for it, um, lack of habit, I guess I would call it, where I wasn't doing the things that I was doing last month. And that's probably because I was distracted. Um, my daughter was sick. I was sick this week. I still worked all week. Um, all sorts of things. So I was, I was pretty busy. I wasn't feeling that great. I was focusing on getting work done and resting in between and relaxing. So that's why I actually didn't have some videos up. And I don't know that I'm going to have a video every Thursday and Friday, but I do know that my regular videos are still going to be coming just to give you a heads up. But hopefully you will continue watching. And my one of the videos at the end of this week, I need to edit was my Halloween haul, everything that I bought for Halloween with the exception of the two last items, which were candle holders and a fine fragrance mist holder. But um, I'm gonna be editing that and you're gonna see that this Thursday. So until uh, tomorrow, I will talk to you later. Bye.